So we start off in the back, just making a part going straight across. And here you can decide if, how small or large you want your sections. We do ours fairly small because I leave hers in for about four to five weeks. Okay, so once I have my section part, I don't use any product on her hair as I'm twisting. The only product that's in her hair is the products that I used as I was blow drying her hair, and that's it. And this is very important because you don't want too much slip, so it's no need to add any extra product, and I don't want shrinkage either. So here you see I'm going to split the hair in two, and I'm going to twist each side in the opposite direction, and then I'm going to cross over. And as I'm crossing over it and twisting, I'm actually rolling the hair in my hand before I cross over. I'm going to slow this down in a bit so you guys can actually see. And the trick to the, the twist that I do, I don't twist all the way to the end. Ooh, we finished one row so far and several rows to go. When starting that second row, you want to make sure you brick layer your twist. Okay, so here we're going to slow it down so you can actually see how I do the twist. So I'm splitting it into two and making sure I have equal parts. And I'm going to twist one of the sections first. And then I'm going to hold that section and twist the next section in the opposite direction. And once I have both sections, Twisted, I'm gonna cross over and every time I twist I'm gonna roll that hair in my hand as I cross over so it's like a twist and roll kind of thing so when you cross over you're gonna roll it and then twist roll cross over roll cross over roll and cross over and I repeat that the whole time. Alrighty, okay, now that we've made it to that third row, you'll really be able to see what I mean as far as brick layering. So I'm not using a comb, I'm just using my fingers, but you can use a comb if you need to. But I'm breaking that hair right there and I'm going right in between that twist. So that twist is gonna actually fall in the space below. So kind of like, almost like bricks. So that's I guess that's why it's called brick layering. So when I let that twist go, it's gonna fall right in between the other one. And this helps to ensure that your style is full and it doesn't look too spaced out. Halfway mark, and I'm just gonna show you guys how the ends look. So it's almost like, it looks like it's halfway, but they're, little, they're twisted almost to the ends, not quite halfway. So finally we reached the top, and here you can really see it transforming. And I end up going in a circle when I start working on the sides. So you can actually see how the twist fall. So you can see that twist is falling perfectly in between the twist below. And I will be honest, after the third hour, sometimes it doesn't fall quite right, but however long as it looks nice. So I'm slowing the clip down one more time to show you again from a different angle. And I'm simply rolling one section. And 
and then I'm gonna roll the next section. And then you're gonna cross both sections over each other. And then you're gonna begin to twist. And as you twist, you're gonna roll that hair in your hand. So I roll it between my index finger and my thumb. And this is really gonna lock the twist in place so they don't unravel. So we're finally making it to the top and here I'm just showing you the back so as you can see when you pull that hair up how it still looks really really full even though they're twists and that's because of how you part is very important. So as you can see when it lays flat as well you can see how full it looks and how you don't see as much spacing. And that's because of how, how I'm parting the hair. Okay, so we're gonna make it to the top. And as you see, when I get to the top, I actually start going around in an actual oval or circle. And to me, that really creates fullness in the top. Because sometimes when you do twists, they can actually start looking spacey as you get to the top. So here I'm actually showing you exactly what I mean when it when I say brick layer. So I part it right in between that other twist below. So that when I twist that twist, it's gonna fall right in between that part. So if I were to put her hair in, all, in a ponytail, you would not be able to see a bunch of space. Those twists will fall in between each space, if that makes sense. because this took a lot longer when you're actually trying to record. It normally takes me between four to five hours, but when you're actually recording, it takes a lot longer. So shout out to her being a trooper and sitting here the whole time. Of course, we took breaks here and there, but still, you know, it was a lot. So I really appreciate her being a trooper and hanging in there. So here you actually see me just putting moisturizer on her ends and you can choose any moisturizer you want. I'll put in a link in the description box for the moisturizer that I currently use. And this is just gonna simply give her hair a nice hold and it's gonna crinkle those ends so. So once you completed that process, then you can go ahead and add your oil. This is a safe time to add it so you don't have to deal with the slipping if you decide to all before twisting. this tutorial we really enjoyed filming this tutorial for you guys we had a lot of fun even though it was a long process it was all worth it in the end all smiles from her and all smiles from me and we just want to thank you for watching thank you to my new subscribers and current subscribers for hanging in there with us you guys have a blessed day